Hi there, I'm Chris Hernandez, and you're tuned in to the Weekly Report, a look at news related to programs and services provided by the departments of the City of Kansas City, Missouri. FEMA authorizes the City's Office of Emergency Management to send wireless emergency alerts directly to newer cell phones. Warning types include imminent threats, amber alerts, and national emergencies. This new wireless emergency alert system allows those warnings to be broadcast from cell towers directly to cell phones in just those affected areas. To find out if your phone can receive these alerts, contact your service provider. Residents interested in submitting city project requests to the Public Improvements Advisory Committee, also called PIAC, are reminded that request forms are due Saturday, August 31st. To place a request or to learn more about PIAC, please visit kcmo.org slash PIAC. Do you have a way with words? Are you a rhyme master? Do you want to be on TV? We are looking for a spoken word artist to create an original piece that we will film and feature right here on Channel 2. The rhymes will be used to introduce city council meetings and should be about 45 to 90 seconds in length. Check out our Facebook page for details or call me at 816-513-3474. This is a contest with just a little prize money and we'll pick the winner on September 17th at 7 p.m. at the Blue Room at 18th and Vine during a live performance. Good luck. Now let's check in with some of our city's departments for information and insight. Hi, I'm Heidi Downer with Kansas City Parks and Recreation. The summer is winding down, but there are still plenty of fun activities happening all over town. Explore a world of cultures at the Ethnic Enrichment Festival, the weekend of August 16th through 18th in Swope Park. This event is one of the largest ethnic festivals in the country, with more than 60 different cultures selling native foods and crafts and entertaining the crowds with music and dance. Admission is $3 for adults, while children 12 and under get in free. Enjoy an end of the summer swim for only $3 a day, now through Labor Day, at the Bay Water Park on Longview Road and the Springs Aquatic Center on North Congress Avenue. Just download a Splash Special Coupon at kcparks.org. The following weekend, the pools go to the dogs. Dippin' Dog Swim Parties will be held from noon to 2 p.m. Saturday, September 7th at the Bay Water Park and from 1 to 4 p.m. Sunday, September 8th at the Springs Aquatic Center. Admission fees are $10 per dog and go to help local rescue organizations. For more information about these and other events, see the Parks and Recreation website at kcparks.org or give us a call at 816-513-7500. Where is a cop when you need one is a cliche that we hear about as often as donut jokes. But when it comes to an emergency, it is no joke. And citizens expect to see one of us immediately on the scene. Still, one must always consider the big picture. Even emergencies are divided into categories. Dispatcher Larry Henderson explains. In order to prioritize the calls that come in, we take into account the danger to human life primarily. So we have uh, five different priorities. Priority 10 calls involve an immediate danger to human life. They're sent on immediately upon receipt. And we have priority 20 calls, which are a possible danger to human life. They're sent on within two minutes of receipt. And priority 30 calls are calls where for customer service reasons or perhaps evidence at the scene, we don't wish to delay them, but we can't send them out in ahead of the ones that have uh, possible or actual danger to people in them. Then we have priority 40 calls, which we can hold as long as we need to. And finally, priority 50 calls where we warn people that there might be up to a four hour delay. It's when we've uh, got several calls waiting, we send out the higher priority calls first, which may leave the priority 30 or 40 calls on the screen for a while. For instance, a residential burglary is a priority 30 call. We want to send on it as soon as we can, mostly for customer service reasons. People have been traumatized in their home. But if we have, say, seven officers available for calls and we have three priority 10 or 20 calls, that might use up all seven officers depending on the severity which means while we would like to send out that burglary within five minutes, we will hold it until we have officers available from the emergency calls we're already doing. 
about 20 or 25 percent of the calls we handle, we call them alternatively handled calls. So if, for instance, somebody has a non-injury accident and the car is drivable and both parties can produce proof of insurance and a driver's license, we'll almost always ask them directly to make a report later at their convenience at the station. Every call we take should end with the dispatcher or call taker telling the citizen or the caller exactly how we're going to handle the call. Nobody should go away from us confused about whether we're coming out to see them or not. It's one of the reasons we take so much time asking questions. If we can get your name and your callback number, almost everyone has a cell phone now, you know, they can call us and we can contact them if we're having trouble finding them. So if somebody is waiting and they feel it's been too long, be, feel free to call 911 again and ask us if we know how much longer it will be. We're here you know, to serve the public and hopefully, unless the stress gets to us too badly, we'll do so politely. Last year, the 911 call center received almost 792,000 calls and we responded to over half a million 911 police calls. Spread over the 1,000 patrol officers split between three shifts, you can understand how difficult it becomes. Please make sure your calls to 911 are emergencies, and if it isn't an immediate danger to human life, please be patient. I'm Officer Shelley Gaddis. Have a safe, non-911 week. Hi, I'm Janet O'Hagan with Kansas City Convention and Entertainment Facilities. Fall is just around the corner and September promises to be a busy month at Bartle Hall with conventions, charity events, and festivals. From September 7th through 9th, the 2013 Association of Zoo and Aquariums Annual Conference will be at the KC Convention Center hosted by the Kansas City Zoo. This is the premier event for zoo and aquarium professionals, bringing together leaders in this community to network with peers, share successful programs, and learn about new technologies and services. For more information, visit www.aza.org. Attend the Adorn Style Show and Brunch on Saturday, September 7th at the Grand Ballroom at the Kansas City Convention Center. Guests will discover the latest fashion trends presented by professional runway models, enjoy creatively designed tablescapes and a delicious brunch, as well as experience unique shopping at the marketplace of exclusive boutiques and local merchants. Proceeds from the Society's event benefit programs and services that enrich, stabilize, and strengthen the lives of adults and children within our community. For more information, visit www.harvestball.org slash adorn. Come enjoy the 2013 Fiesta Hispania on September 14th and 15th at Barney Alice Plaza. Fiesta Hispania celebrates National Hispanic Heritage Month. This event recognizes the significant role and contribution Hispanics have played in the development of the United States. With an average of overall attendance of more than 30,000 people, Fiesta Hispania is now the largest free admission public Hispanic event in the metro area and the Midwest. For more information, visit www.fiestahispanakansascity.com. To learn about even more events, as well as ticket information, visit kcconvention.com and click on the events calendar. Or call 816-513-5000. Welcome, we're here on the uh, banks of Brush Creek in uh, the plaza area of Kansas City. And uh, this is a uh, part of the week of celebration for the MLS Soccer All-Star Game. Uh, the game will be played uh, on Wednesday uh, at the Sporty Park in Kansas City, Kansas. But, show how important this is to the Kansas City metropolitan area. We have the MLS soccer players and their competition from uh, from Roma. They're going to be playing on Wednesday. And they're down here today kicking soccer balls across Brush Creek. And not only were they kicking soccer balls, and of course they're pros kicking soccer balls. Some of us from the community, some of the local TV and radio stations and local celebrities, including Mayor James, was here to also kick a ball across Brush Creek. Behind me, over my shoulder, you'll see a goal in the KC Park emblem. 
And let's give another throw up, shall we? From Sporting KC, it is Spanish midfielder Uri Rosell. Coming up then. Uh, let's move on to the next one and uh, Fox 4 News morning anchor Nick Vassos. Looking ahead, in observance of the Labor Day holiday on Monday, September 2nd, curbside trash and recycling collection will be delayed one day and city offices and the 311 call center will be closed. Residents who usually have Monday collection will receive the service on Tuesday, September 3rd. Friday trash pickups will take place Saturday, September 7th. Residents are invited to the city's quarterly Neighborhood Leaders Roundtable meeting. It's at the Kansas City Library Plaza Branch on Thursday, August 29th from 6 to 7.30 p.m. This meeting will provide residents with information on neighborhood services and offer residents and community leaders an opportunity to talk with city staff. For more information about this or any of today's stories, please log on to kcmo.org. Just scroll down to the bottom right-hand corner and click on the weekly report. That does it for this edition of the Weekly Report. I'm Chris Hernandez. Have a great week.